Field bunching up in turn three. Here they come into the starting box. They're in it. They're on it. Green flags out. They're racing. No battle into turn number one. Spencer Hughes down on the inside to his right is Tanner English. They'll go side by side through three and four. It'll be Tanner English leading lap number one. Hughes in second. Third is Sam Seawright. Jaden Frame in fourth. But in fifth is Ross Bales. Multiple grooves around Duck River Raceway Park here in the opening laps. Drivers running up high in the middle, down low, pick a groove. That's what makes dirt racing one of the most exciting sports in the world. And the 19 of Hughes got in a little pair. We've got a spin in turn two. Caution flag coming out. Tanner English mashes the gas. Green flags out. We're racing. Sam Seawright trying to get a bite on the outside as they come off the two. He'll shoot by the 19 of Spencer Hughes. Seawright way up on the high side. Getting a run down the front straightaway. Takes over that second spot. He'll now take chase and try to reel in the race leader, Tanner English, in car number 96. Seawright will set it up up on the high side. Running right up against the wall, up in the danger zone. He'll work the bottom to the middle in one and two, down the back straightaway. Tanner English working his middle groove, car number 96. Caution flag out on the speedway. He drills the throttle, green flags out, we're racing. Seawright right on the back bumper, the race leader. Seawright will dive to the bottom. Here they come off the four. Seawright gets loose off the four. English will remain the leader. Still the 19. Spencer Hughes in that third spot. Christian Hanger up on the outside, moves up to fourth in car number 29. Hanger working that high side, getting a run off the two down the back straightaway, closing in on Spencer Hughes. See right now, closing in on English. He dives from the bottom. He'll throw the slider in three. He'll drift up in front of the leader as crossing over is Tanner English into turn one. He'll throw a slider in one. And it'll be Seawright tapping the brakes down the back straightaway. He got a slider fest going on, race fans. Sam Seawright takes that lead. English takes it back. Here comes Seawright. Now they're in lap traffic. Seawright tried to put a lap car between himself and English. English will slide the lap car in terms one and two, but that gives Sam Seawright about a three-car link advantage out in front. English now. English trying to get a run down the back straightaway. It'll be Seawright going to the bottom, working in lap traffic. English right with him, looking for room to make a move. Seawright slides up in front A Caleb Ashby in the 74 car. Here comes English. He'll dive to the inside in turn three. They're wheel to wheel off the four, down the front straightaway. English will throw it in turn number one. He noses out in front of Seawright. Seawright now with a half car length advantage on the high side in turn three. Lap car in front of English. Moving up on Caden Mullinex in the M2 car. It'll be Seawright going to the inside of Mullinex. And the door is open for the 96 cars. He'll take the inside down the front straight away. And it'll be Seawright closing the door in turn number one. They'll shoot down the back straight away. The intense battle for the lead. We were saying earlier, Duck River Raceway Park always delivers. And we are seeing a dandy in the 35th Annual Gobbler. Your battle's up front for the lead. They're side by side off the four. See right by a car length at the flag stand. That computes out to .172 seconds.
So C right with more lap traffic in front of them. Unless they get a caution flag, they're going to be in lap traffic probably for the remainder of the race. Here comes English. He's got room on the inside in turn three. Seawright looking to get a grip off the high side. It'll be English leading lap number 29. So English back out in front. Seawright looking for racing room. He's got lap traffic in front of him. English trying to put a lap car between himself and the second place car, Sam Seawright. Seawright trying to get a run off the two down the back straightaway. The battle for the lead on the left side of the screen. On the right side, the battle for third. It's still Spencer Hughes trying to hold off the challenge of Christian Hanger in car number 29. Spencer Hughes, the 29 right with him, Christian Hanger. So a three-car battle for second now as Tanner English pulling away. So Seawright, he's going to go to the hub. Brings Hughes with him. Here comes Christian Hanger. He's got an inside line on the 19 of Spencer Hughes. He'll bring the 29 car up into third. And he's looking for more in turn number one, trying to set up on the inside of Seawright in the 16. Here comes Spencer Hughes. He'll throw the slider in three. Coming off the four, he drifts up in front of Hanger to reclaim that third spot. Down the back straight away, they go. Your battle for third. It'll be Spencer Hughes on the high side. Kristen Hanger down on the bottom of the racetrack. They're both trying to chase down that second place car, Sam Seawright. That's the number 16 car on the inside. So he's put some distance between himself and the battle for second that still rages on in these closing laps. This time by, it'll be five to go. 45 down, five to go. There's your battle for second coming off the four, Seawright. Leading the 19 car as Hanger looks to the inside. He'll drive underneath Spencer Hughes down the back straightaway. Hanger back up to third. Up on the outside, Spencer Hughes trying to get a run on Hanger down the front straightaway into turn number one. Hughes sets up on the high side trying to get that momentum going his way down the back straightaway. He'll inch ahead of Hanger in turn three. Battle for second off of turn four as we are in the closing laps. It'll be two to go this time by. Hughes gets a, gives a shot in the shorts to the 16 to see right down the back straightaway. Two to go this time by. Tanner English has packed his bags, turned into key and checked out on the field. White flag in the air, one lap to go. Tanner English looking for a $10,000 payday off of two down the back straightaway for the final time. The second generation driver from Benton, Kentucky, up a turn four. And it's Tanner English winning the 35th annual Gobbler for the Super Late Models. The battle for second will go to Spencer Hughes in the 19 car as he pulls the trigger on that final lap. Russell and his crew here at Duck River Raceway Park, when they prepped that racetrack, they did it right. That was some great Super Late Model racing. Man, uh, I know we, we were here all day, all afternoon, and I know you had to be wondering what the track was going to be like, but um, I imagine you're pretty happy with it. With the, that, I don't know how it looked from your point of view, but from up here, it was a heck of a race. You and Sam C. Wright uh, swapped the lead, and then you got away from him late. Tell us about this, this big win and that great race for you. Well, first of all, it was worth the wait. You know, uh, I know people were probably uh, you know, speculating whether it was, it was going to do any good or not, but it definitely uh, made it a heck of a racetrack. You know, uh, to be able to run the top like that and then, and then mid – you know, right after it got fast, the bottom got fast. So, uh, I don't know, heck of a race between me and Sam. You know, he did a, he did a good job racing deal. He kind of got in my fender there a little bit. <laughs> little did he know that's the worst thing you do to me. It pissed me off a little bit. So, uh, but it's all good, you know. And, uh, uh, you know, I, I usually I need something to get me a little hyped up. You know, I'm kind of calm and collected. So, uh, you know, 
this I can't say enough about this car, this BMF car. It's a it's a bad mother, you know. So uh, uh, drives like a Cadillac, and uh, you know Chad and Corey, they got a they got a good thing going over there, and can't say enough about them, and and uh, appreciate them a ton, you know. Hope they hope they got their phones charged up. I think they probably sold some cars. So uh, I don't know. Uh, hopefully hopefully we can you know help them out. That's what I want to do. You know, get behind somebody that wants to help me. So. Uh, you know, I like that, and, and I appreciate him a ton. So, uh, got to thank uh, Matt Logan, uh, ML Shocks, uh, just everybody on the car, m and Painting Construction, H&A &H Development, uh, Chase Motorsports, Lentz Towing, C Motors, Davis Diesel, uh, Capital Waste, Base Fuels, Supreme Enterprises, uh, Viper Risk Management, Wiles Drive Shaft, Swiss Springs, everybody on the car, uh, Bachman Trucking, uh, Midwest Sheet Metal. Haven't gotten to do this a lot, so I'm trying to get everybody in. So, uh uh, I got to thank everybody. Creekside Auto, Sell, Auto Sales, uh, just everybody on the car. Randy Durham Motor ran great. Um, dang, it's it's good to, good to be back here and in the winter circle here. Uh, got to thank my crew, Zach, uh, Cord, my dad, Mitch, uh, Justin, Charlie Medford. You know he's here, so uh, everybody's helping out, and I appreciate him a ton. And uh, uh, just uh, you know, can't wait to go to the next one. You, uh, you, a lot, you said a lot there, but I, I do want to ask you, you get to come, like you said, kind of almost like a home track for you, definitely close to home. Uh, after being on the road all year, to come here and pick up a, a, a big win to kind of late in the season here, I know you got some more racing to do, but uh, you know, how, how does that feel to come and, and come to a place you know and, and just put on the show like you did? How does that feel going into the off season and going into next year? It's big, you know, especially, uh, we, we, you know, this all we got now is one of these cars right here, so I was kind of nervous taking it to the Dome, having took one to the Dome, so that's, that's a totally different animal. And, but uh, the way it scooted around the bottom right there, I think it's going to be all right. So um, it took the holes pretty good, too. So, you know, can't say enough about it. And uh, just, just excited for the rest of the year and, and next year especially. There you go, Tanner English. He's excited after a big win and a great performance. Y'all give it up. You're a uh, gobbler. Oh, you got something else he wants to say. Yeah, I got to thank my wife and uh, my daughter, Banks. You know, they, they put up with a lot and uh, can't wait to be home. There you go. Can't, can't forget about that. Y'all give it up, Tanner English. Your 35th annual gobbler winner. Spencer Hughes, I, after you swept the prelims through the through the night and you drew the pole, I thought you were uh, might have, might going to be spoiled the show, but turns out it was a heck of a race. You got shuffled back there, but then got up on the top late and got back to second. Tell me about that run back to uh, to the runner-up finish. Yeah, you know we fired off right there. Tanner's just really good, and congratulations to them, all their guys. Uh, you know they uh, uh, we all need a good run every once in a while. And they've, they've been running really good here lately, but this is uh, you know second sucks, but it's still good. Uh, you know uh, good comeback right here at the end of the year, a little confidence boost. But yeah, I just. Uh, Fell in line there, kind of behind him uh, on that initial start, and then uh, that put Sam in third. And, and uh, you know, really, I probably just showed a, chose a topper there. It just got go, uh, back going a little bit better. And then uh, with lap traffic here, you know, these little bull rings gets a little crazy, and uh, got shuffled back there a little bit. But uh, you know, uh, of course, you just wish they'd move out of your way when you're on the cushion. But they don't know you're there. And, and uh, at times we were three and four wide, a couple different lap cars, and uh, I think Anger was involved in some of that, and then uh, Jaden and. And uh, saying, I think at one point I was running about fifth, about two to go. So uh, get back to second right there. That's uh, you know, uh, says I'm our car is good. We just gotta just get these deals are so hard nowadays to get everything to line up and go your way. You just uh, sometimes all you need is a little luck or just one you know one thing to change in the race, and uh, you trade spots with the other guys on the podium. But uh, uh, can't thank Colton and them enough. Uh, JCM Motorsports. Uh, uh, Torco Lubricants, uh, Boswell Fuels, Andy Durham Racing Engines, uh, all the guys at Mark Richards uh, and uh, Rocket Chassis. They've been, uh, you know, really good. To the, I've never raced one of their cars before until, uh, you know, October. So uh, to hit the ground, uh, you know, with our feet running is, uh, it really says a lot about them guys. Uh, Fox Shocks, uh, Daryl Posey, uh, Clyburn Tank Lines, they're over there at Why Not Racing Night. So uh, hopefully Hayden did pretty good. And uh, Link Construction, he's, he's racing too. And, uh, you know, Rodney and, and, uh, and all them guys, they've helped out, come over and, uh, you know, like I said earlier, it's been a been a lot of work here the last couple of weeks, and uh, you know, not many hours spent resting. So, uh, a huge thanks to uh, Kayla Wormy, Ryder, uh, uh, Hayden, came over and helped us a little bit. Uh, Stephen Brantley's with us here tonight, and uh, my family, and all that good stuff. And uh, we don't have quite as far as drive home tonight. There you go, Spencer Hughes and the JCM Motorsports ride, bringing it home after a hard fought second place finish. Good run.
here we are again. I, I, I'll be honest, with about five to go, I didn't think I'd be interviewing you again uh, on the podium, but another race for the Hunt the Front Series, another podium for Jaden Frame, bringing it home third. Uh, Got to feel pretty good, especially the way you had to drive your butt off to get to it. <laughs> yeah, I can't, can't complain with third right there. Uh, we had a, probably a fifth-place car, and we just got in heavy lap traffic, and I got up top and just sent it. So uh, just happy to come away with third. I thought we was going to run fifth, so. We want to thank uh, with the, the, obviously the hometown crowd, our home track crowd, but also sponsors and everybody gets you here. Yeah, the fans. Uh, we couldn't do it without them. So, uh, uh, Southeast Auto Direct, Teddy's Lawnmower, uh, Russell Barnett Kia, RDS, uh, Joe Denby, and Tish. And uh, just everybody has something to do with this thing.